Hello guys. Uh, okay, for today, we'll discuss more or learn more on exploring slash creating charts. Okay, well, to be honest, creating a chart in Excel, which is nothing other than a visual representation of um, numeric data, it's really, really easy. And you can quickly enhance it with a variety of visual effects. Well, you might call it sometimes call it sometimes a graph but let's be clear for this purposes of today's discussion the term we use here is chart and we are about to create one with this set of data in here as you can see um, starting with columns d through h so uh, before creating a chart highlight let's highlight the data that we want to show and it must include some values otherwise uh, probably you will have an empty chart and as there is nothing to show really, right? If you do have totals next to it, as you can see in here, just leave them off. Always include the row that you typically have on top of the data that describes each column and the column as well that you typically have on the left side that describes each row. And if you're in a somewhat in a rush, you can use a keystroke shortcut combination. That's Alt F1. So Alt F1 immediately creates what we call a clustered column chart. So press Alt F1 and there you have it. This vertical columns remind us that it's a column chart and to be more particular on this one, it's a cluster column chart. As you, as soon as you see, see the chart, you might notice at the top uh, of the screen up here, um, we have this uh, chart tools, extra chart tools on the ribbon. Uh, the first one is the design tab, and which is the more, really the more important tab of the two. And then the other is the format tab. Well, format has a lot to do with fine tuning of the visuals no design on the other hand has some important buttons um, as we'll see subsequently well i'm sliding it over i'm not clicking it and we see lots of different variations already you know okay and there's a drop down here that you can click and so you see there's even more of them right and so we can pick from them. So sometimes we'll be inclined toward each one of these and I'll just pick up one of these. Well, this black one uh, stands out for me. I'll click this, this one in the center. And we can easily change to another one if we so desire. Well, to move a chart now, you either click or drag, click and drag any of its um, um, borders or well inside the border move it to where you wish so i click inside the border like i moved it i moved it somewhere here and um if you'd like to resize it while keeping that same ratio of height to width we can point to one of the corner handles and then you hold down the left mouse button so i can make this chart uh, narrower or taller. Uh, I can go anywhere I want in whatever direction I want. So if I hold down the shift key, I'm making it bigger or smaller while retaining the ratio. So the proportion is still there. Okay. So uh, let's do like this. And then, um, so we retain the ratio of the height to width. And sometimes, what we really want to do. So for now, let's go of, uh, let us let go of the mouse first. If you want the boundaries of the chart to line up with the boundaries of of the cell boundaries, for example, you have the cells in here and they have their own boundaries, and you want to line them up all together to make it the more presentable, maybe. Uh, you can select um, this chart again, and then in one of the handles, hold down the alt while pressing the corners. One of the corners, you hold down the alt key on the keyboard, 
and then drag it there. Okay. And then once again, hold down the Alt key, maybe on the other corner. Okay. So it fits right into the boundaries of those um, nearby cells. Uh, so sometimes you might want to consider doing that. Hence, an alt drag causes the boundaries of the chart to match. So once again, I click this. Oh, okay, once again, click the corner, hold the alt, and click right through it. Okay, now I, so, and that's one of, this is just one of the many different chart types, no? There's more chart types that we can explore, really. Uh, now I got some other data over here to the left. Okay, I'm going to select this. Now, before we proceed on to the next, let's keep our eyes at the bottom uh, part of the workbook uh, or, or at the bottom part of this file. We see two sheets, creating charts. And uh, another is chart types, but we're only focusing more on the creating charts for this um, session. If we want um, a chart on a separate uh, sheet, the keystroke shortcut is F11. So I'm going to select this. I'm already selecting this set of data. And as I press the function key F11, F11. Okay, it creates an entirely new sheet with a chart. And sometimes that's what we desire, um, depending on the purpose, no? Um, we have the same features available. Um, and the we have the design tab, we have the format tab. And uh, the only difference is we're not seeing our data. The advantage this type uh, this option brings is this allows us, maybe you, to be focused solely on the chart that you are working on, that you're gonna going to make some changes. Uh, change the appearance maybe of uh, different, uh, different options, change the color and whatnot. Now, there may be a tendency to have um, or a choice to have the chart next to the data. Uh, but either way, we'll go back to creating charts. As we can see, let's, let's just click through this part here down below. And we have our data here. Now, there is another way, yet another way to create a chart that is via the menu system with the data highlighted, same data highlighted earlier on. Uh, we go to the insert tab in the ribbon. And we could start really with the, this one here, recommended charts. Okay, and I honestly think this is a great button because when you click this, you instantly get some ideas as to how your data could be displayed. So what we see here, we have here five examples or so. So we can pick one of these here. Maybe this, is, this one is gonna, Maybe this one is going to look better. Let's try that. Okay, looks good. Click OK. And there you have it. There is a chart. And here too, we might want to resize it. So let's resize it a little bit like this. There you have it. Okay. Um, there. There you go. All right, now there's a chart that we just resized. So now you know it's so easy to create this. And there's yet another way to create a chart. When you highlight um, this list of data that includes numbers here. At the lower part of the selection, notice this icon here at the lower right hand corner is a quick analysis button. Let's click that. And we see some choices now. Okay. Oh, we see charts right there. So we can uh, go down this path as well, and that's okay. Okay. And yet, there's another way uh, to create charts. Um, as you become more familiar with this, you'll go to the Insert tab. 
holding on the selection, insert tab, and pick the chart type that you know you desire from the beginning. Okay. So maybe that's a different scenario. There's more, and there's more about chart types probably in the coming videos. But um, this is a really good feature that we can really use in the future. Yet we need to be reminded no, a chart is always in sync, in sync with the data. So on this chart here, down below, um, that's based on the data over in columns. A and B. Okay. If the data somehow was somehow recorded by mistake. So for example, this number for a kitchen here should have been around 3 million. So instead of 2 million, I'm going to double click the cell in B the cell in B7 and uh, change that uh, initial two to three maybe and as we before we even press enter observe how this bar right here changes or widens up so as i press enter you'll see this kitchen bar to the right here gets significantly wider okay i'll press enter and there you have it so it's always in sync with the data so it's really a good visual uh, representation of the data. And in some cases, you'll find that this works way better when you're dealing with big amounts of data. So it's a great feature, relatively easy to use, and it's got a lot of options really so that any time you opt to display numerical information in a more graphic way, you'll be using the chart feature. No?